here we have a problem involving permutation and combination. And what I want to do is just read this carefully and talk about what all these words really mean in the context of this problem. It says, suppose we want to choose three colors without replacement. So when they say without replacement, what they're saying is you're going to grab, let's say I grab a red ball first, I choose that color. I don't put it back, so I can't get another red the next time. Okay, So that's without replacement um, from the four colors, red, blue, and green. Now they want to know how many ways this, can this be done if the order of choices is relevant, and how many ways can it be done if the order of choices is not relevant. And that is the difference between a permutation and a combination. With a permutation, order matters. With a combination, the order doesn't matter. And then we've got these formulas here. So the little n down here is the total number. For us, that's four. There are four colors we have. And the r is the number of things you want to choose from a group, and we want to choose three. So we can use these formulas, but I think first I'm going to start with the combination. The combination is simpler, uh, and we're just going to try it. So how many combinations of th three colors can I choose from this? Well, I could choose red, green, blue. That would be one. So let's just make that a choice. So that's one possible choice. I could choose uh, red, green, purple, right? Or red, red, blue, purple, I meant. I'll choose red, green, purple in a minute. So we'll, uh, we'll make that a choice as well. We'll save that down here. Put these back. All right, and I could choose red green, purple. Okay, that's that's a new combination. So let's make a copy of that to keep down here. Put these guys back. All right, and let's see, am I missing anything? So I could choose purple, green, blue. That one we don't have. And then you'll have to satisfy yourself to this, but I think that's all the possible combinations we can have. I don't think there's any other combination you can make. That's combination. There are four. We're going to verify this with the formula, but let me just jot down a four here. Now with permutation, it's going to be a lot more complicated. There are going to be a lot more choices because here I have purple, green, blue, and this would be the same thing as purple, blue, green, or blue, green, purple. But with a permutation, it's not. Purple, blue, green would be different from purple, green, blue, because the order matters. The choices, the order of the choices is relevant. So rather than try to make copies of all of those, I think we'll we'll plug it into the formula formula. Let's let's actually start with the combination first. We'll plug that into the formula. So the formula says that when you choose uh, R things from a group of size n, you put n factorial on top. Well, our n is 4, so that's 4 factorial. And then on the bottom, you take n minus r, so that's 4 minus 3. That's 1. And you take the factorial of that, and then you multiply it by r factorial, which is r in our case is 3. When we simplify this, the top is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. The bottom is just 1 times 3 times 2 times 1. All of this cancels out, and we just get 4 over 1, or 4, which was exactly what we came up with when we tried to do it by hand. Let's see how many combinations, or sorry, permutations there are when, they, when the order matters. And we'll use this formula here. So we put 4 factorial on the top again. And then on the bottom, n minus r. So n is 4 minus 3, so that's 1 factorial. So on the bottom, we're just going to get 1. On the top, we're going to get 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 is 24. So there are 24 possible combinations of three colors from this group of four when the order matters. And you can play around and uh, verify that for yourself, but um, that is how to do a permutation and a combination.